It's God calling. <laughs> you know, I can tell it's going to be a fun day. I uh, was talking earlier on one of the devotionals, and I was sharing about Greg Laurie, how I was jealous of Greg because Greg was bald, and I can I have hair that will grow anywhere. <laughs> and the humor of that is that uh, he used to joke about, you know, being bald, so... <laughs> this week, sometime, I'm trying to go out and get a haircut back to super short because this drives me crazy. Now, because we're on a different devotional, I have a different jealousy. <laughs> and it's directed at you ladies. Yes, you women. You know, I'm jealous of you women. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how to do it. But I know if there was something that I could learn from you, this would be it. It's what I'm jealous about. I don't know how you can be like, you know, go in in the morning and spend hours, you know, like in the bathroom or or in front of a makeup mirror and, you know, you get everything all just arranged just right, you know, you, you pluck out the, the eyebrow here and you paint on one there and you, you kind of do the lips, you know, and you, you do your hair and you, man, I have seen women work on their hair for hours, you know, my poor wife, you know what I mean? <laughs> reason I'm jealous is because, frankly, I can't stand getting all cleaned up, so to speak. If anybody saw my Sunday morning uh, video, they know that, yes, I clean up nice. <laughs> but the point being is, I hate it. You know, I hate, like, you know, shaving and, you know, doing your hair, you know, and looking in the mirror, you know, and Oh, look, bloodshot eyes. Oh, look, you know, wrinkles. Man, I had wrinkles when I was in high school. <laughs> or lap lines, whatever you want to call it. Or, you know, wow, I got another mole. Or, wow, I got acne. Or, wow, I got this. I don't care. <laughs> That's why I grow so many beards at different times. It's, man, I hate shaving. I hate, you know, spending all this time in the bathroom. I want to roll out of bed and get busy and get going, you know. But then, you know, I was in the Marine Corps one time, so maybe that's where it came from. I don't know. <laughs> I only know that I'm jealous of you ladies that can spend more time than I do, you know, in the restroom or bathroom and makeup room or powder room or whatever you want to call it, you know, and be so beautiful when you get done that, you know, I'm stuck with me, you know. And man, when I get done... I look at the, my mirror at the end, beginning of the day, and I look at the end of the day, and I go, Whoa! <laughs> Thank God for grace. <laughs> but today, in God Calling, hear my answer. Whoops. Wrong day in God Calling. <laughs> no burden irks. Our Lord and our God, be it done unto us according to thy word. Simple acceptance of my will is the key to divine revelation. It will result in both holiness and happiness. The way to the cross may be a way of sorrow, but at its foot the burdens of sin and earth desires are all rolled away. The yoke of my acceptance of my Father's will in all things is adjusted to my servant's shoulders and from that moment, no burden irks or presses in. But not only in the great decisions of life accept and welcome my will, but try to see in each interruption, in each task, however small, however insignificant, the same fulfillment of my divine intent. Accept it, say your thanks for it, and do so until this becomes a habit, and the resulting joy will transfigure and transform your lives. You know, I know that, you know, if my wife is watching this video, she's going to slap me with it. <laughs> but, you know, there, there are times where, because of the way that we have our apartment set up, that I, uh, I may be working on the Internet, you know, doing ministry work. We know that's important, right? <laughs> but uh, I may be doing something, you know, and she'll have the TV on, and not far away and to me it's cranked up you know and I'll say honey could you turn it down could you turn it down could you turn it down you know and she'll say -r -r -r, you know and then do it basically but then other times you know 
when I'm talking to her, I'll say, could you, you know, you mum you're mumbling. Could you speak up? Could you speak up? And she'll say, you need a hearing aid. <laughs> See, I'm normal. <laughs> I'm fleshy, just like you. But those things that interrupt us sometimes are moments that God has used to change our direction and our focus to say, Lord, do you want me to go spend time with my wife right now? Or, Lord, do you want me to stop what I'm doing that I think is important because you brought this person across my path right now? What is the prioritizing of your life? Are you watching for and prepared for those interruptions, those moments when Jesus himself will come and visit you? Or are you distracted and you become irritable because of the distractions that you haven't prepared yourself ahead of time before the day starts to recognize those moments that God has ordained for you in that something occurs or something happens. For me personally, you know, I've worked in jobs that are mundane and, you know, they're repetitious and they're kind of, you know, like the same old thing every day, you know. I mean, I, I used to sit at Gala Winery, <laughs> not drinking wine, <laughs> at the glass factory, and I was a bottle inspector. You know, so there's another union job I had. Wow, well, I had two union jobs and a whole bunch of others. I know every time I tell videos or speak something on the internet, you know, on these videos, people go, another job? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> but I worked at Gala Winery for about a year, and uh, I used to watch the bottles go by, and they would spin, you know, and I'd just grab one and throw it down a chute. It's just about like this motion. And it would go on for eight hours a day just going by me and I just sit there and pull them and wear these little green glasses and pull them a little safety hat just pull the bottle off and throw them away man you know I don't know how people do that <laughs> I like change so I only lasted about a year but uh, it was a wonderful time but the interruptions I expect, you know, and I rejoice in them, you know, I'm, I'm so glad for the variety of different ways that God can meet you with you in your day and in my day, that he can come in the form of, shoot, a power outage, you know, and man, it stops you from doing something in order to maybe spend some quality time with him, you know, quiet one-on-one -on -one time. I mean, some of the obvious answers are obvious, but have you noticed the unobvious answers like maybe you're standing in a grocery line and somebody bumps your cart and you get first reaction what irritable <laughs> maybe God is teaching you something there or you're working in a garden and you're kind of like frustrated because it's just not working out the way you want it to maybe God is teaching you something about life there or maybe it's just a time of recognition that maybe God has something else for you to do. See, the wind bloweth whither it will. You neither know where it's coming from nor where it's going. So too is everyone led by the Spirit of God. So if you're led by God, as you yield your life and your day and your schedule to Him, don't be surprised if He makes you or causes you to do things that interrupt your standard operating procedure to do his standard Holy Spirit procedure, <laughs> which is, in my life, as the wind blew, Michael went, you know. Maybe in your life, you're just going to stay at one certain job, but that little interruption might be something at home or some other time or place that he wants to meet with you. Because God will meet with you every single day of your life. Because we're told in the garden that in the cool of the day, God walked with Adam. Likewise, Jesus, before the sun rose, spent time with his father and said that he only did those things that pleased his father, that he was aware of and did and accomplished the fulfillment of being that image of God himself, because he is God. And so, when something interrupts you, Maybe it's a good time to stop for a moment and take time to listen. Maybe, just maybe, like in God calling, God might be calling.